we need to get smart politically. We're not even at the table. We don't even have a voice. And you have to find a seat at this table if we're going to make any progress. We can't be standing here being helpless. We have to get involved, roll up our sleeves, and dig deep into the politics of this. And we need to unite and be, be a voice co collectively for sex-based boundaries, which I'm so appreciative of the Women's Declaration because you're already doing that. Um, but it's, it's important, especially important, that we have somebody representing us um, somehow because the IOC and NC2A, being the cowards that they are, have kicked the can down the road. As you all know, they've now left it up to the individual sports. So they create the problem with a policy and then they don't want to resolve it. They want to not take accountability for it. They want to have the other sports uh, deal with it. So if the other sports, every single one of the sports in the world, their governing bodies have to deal with the trans issue, then we're going to have a lot of tables we need to be sitting at. So the guest stage four, final stage, is the networking stage. We need to start getting our act together. And in, in 2020, October 2021, excuse me, um, it became so obvious to us um, that we do need to have some sort of a collaboration between these different, you know, like I say, Fair Play for Women and, and Save Women's Sports and, and the Champions Group and all of these people. We need to somehow aggregate and into a single position.